Much of what's been said about the Lebanese banking sector in recent months is based on rumors, according to the governor of the central bank, Riyad Salemi. While admitting the challenges lying ahead are huge, Salemi insists that Lebanon fiscal policies are clear and stable. And while the banks are dealing realistically with the sanctions imposed on Syrian businessmen, they are at the same time keen to preserve their rights and interests of Syrian depositors. We are keen to preserve this historical relationship between traders and merchants and industrialists, and of course Syrians. If they want to deal with our banks, as long as the sources of the funds are clear, they are welcome to do so. We have not issued any orders regarding this. Salemi denied news reports claiming that American delegations have been visiting local banks and putting pressure on them, and said that he hadn't received any complaints at that level. We did have an issue with the Lebanese Canadian Bank, but this file was closed and it's over. And there is no targeting for the financial sector. And there have been statements from Americans about this. No bank in Lebanon is being targeted and the climate is back to normal. This year, banking sector has made gains, not losses. Deposits increased 7%, same for profits, while loans increased by 15%. Regarding the impact that the sanctions could have on the Lebanese banking sector, especially at the level of the six banks that own branches in Syria, including those that have among their shareholders personalities listed on the sanctions list, like Rami Makhlouf, the cousin of President Bashar al-Assad, the governor said, Lebanese banks inside or outside Lebanon continue to serve their clients without any discrimination and in accordance to international regulations in order to protect their payment system. Salimi also spoke about an increase in Syrian deposits but said the number is nowhere near the $20 billion figure that has been publicized. Alia Ibrahim, Al-Arabiya, Beirut.